I've been told that you met Charles Barkley once and that this is a great story. So yeah. what do you have for me here on Charles? Charles Barkley. So we were shooting, actually, this season of Veep, we were in New York City shooting the last uh, few days, just like some exterior stuff. Yeah. And we're staying in this hotel and we're wrapped, we're done, we're celebrating, having some drinks. We look across and it's also the beginning of the tournament, the NCAA mm -hmm. tournament. So Charles Barkley's there. Oh, that's right, because he was doing it for Turner and CBS exactly. in New York, sure. And he's hanging out with some friends. So this is just a few weeks ago. Just a couple weeks ago. Okay. And he notices us, and we already noticed him, but he comes over, and apparently he's a he's a fan of the show, and he sits <laughs> down with us and makes it very clear that our money is no good any longer and just buys us round after round, telling us stories. I mean, if you have the opportunity to ever get drunk with Charles Barkley, I highly recommend it because the man is hilarious. Well, I actually have done that before. Of course you have. At a charity golf outing in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Jimmy V annual charity outing sure. that, that ESPN has been part of for yeah. a long time. And this was in the late 90s. I saw Charles on a karaoke night. <laughs> okay, get down on a knee to a seated Michael Jordan and sing I Believe I Can Fly to That's Michael amazing. Jordan. I've actually seen that, and it's like ripped the knob off. I cannot imagine anything <laughs> better than that. But now, but do what you— was Jordan's expression? Oh, God, just embarrassed, wanted to the trap door to open up. Yeah. But then you just got to sometimes just uh, enjoy the moment, <laughs> even though you'd like to leave. Jordan enjoying the moment. Yeah. That, I want to see that. <laughs> That's well, what I want to say. Or it was the birth of the crying Jordan meme. I don't know. Yeah. It could have been one, one, of the, one or the other. But did anybody say, Charles, like, we've had enough? Did, 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 or Charles wouldn't hear about it? Or wouldn't I, hear I think enough? I was the first one to peel off. Like, you, yeah. I couldn't hang, man. It was like, you know, it was, it was after midnight, and I'm a newish dad, so, like, that's, that's late for me. And I just, I mean, he, the man can just go and go and go. Right. He's got endless energy. And he's just... He's so funny. He's Charles. So funny. He's oh, Charles yeah. Barkley. Absolutely. Um, so your son, your son is how old? He just turned two. Two. Yeah. Okay. And I told you uh, backstage that uh, my my daughter, who's three, her middle name is Mattingly, which is, and we shared a I mean, moment, Donnie right? Donnie Baseball, man. Donnie. Baseball. Is he your guy growing up? Absolutely. Yeah. My dad and I, you know, even growing up in upstate, um, my dad was actually a Mets fan because he was a Dodgers fan before that. So like so many Dodgers sure. fans, he came from the Brooklyn days. You're talking from the about Brooklyn days. Sure. Uh -huh. My mom's whole side of the family diehard Yanks. Um, in fact, my, my uncle Mark was actually scouted uh, as a pitcher by the Yanks, so it's sort of it's in our blood. Okay. And my dad actually he took one for the team and would take me to as many Yanks games as we could get tickets to. And Donnie Baseball was just he was my guy. Me too. Like when I was nine years old, I wanted a mustache just so I could look like Donnie Baseball <laughs> and a mullet, <laughs> yeah. an old thing. <laughs> yeah. Donnie Baseball. He's the greatest. He is. And then the fact that he. You know, he retires, and then that, that's when they went on their all-time great rip is really something so that still it sticks. It, it really hurts. Yeah. But he, at least he homered in that playoff series against the Mariners in yeah. Yankee Stadium. He had that moment. To go out on. Right. Yeah. But not the championship. I know. I know. But, and, and it, yeah, that, I remember, because I was in high school when, like, you know, when Jeter came up. Mm -hmm. uh, and that whole era of Yankee baseball, it was, it was so exciting. He's got this new crop of young guys, but it didn't feel right not having Mattingly around mm -hmm. like you almost didn't want them to go too far too fast it's like we gotta we gotta yeah Tino know. came over from That's Seattle right. yep. the team that was had just beaten us and yep. we're like okay we don't we don't need you yeah you know Wade Boggs too yeah his Boggs and there's Tino Although and there's Paul no Don I was a big well O'Neill is like the best red ass that you need on your team <laughs> you need that red ass yeah. on your team absolutely and he you know and he came and but the best part about it, how it all clicked, is it in many ways redeemed Bernie Williams. Bernie was the guy who was the star, mm -hmm. but didn't have every, didn't put everybody on his back like they expected he could, yep. and that Jeter eventually did. But then Bernie did put everybody on on a, on his back for the for those World Series years. He was tremendous. He was incredible. They, that that late in his career, actually, I, uh, so he he played for the Albany Colony Yankees, which is their. Nice. It was double A, I think. I think it was double A club. Oh, yeah. And I went to one of their games when I was a kid and got a ball signed. And, like, I just ran to Bernie. Even back then, like, I, I Bernie, mm -hmm. Donnie was my, you know, my guy in the Yanks. But Bernie was my guy in the minors. And he signed the ball for me, and I was so excited. And then another guy snatched the ball out of my hand and signs it. And I look down on it. And I can't even read the writing, but I see a, there's an S, and he drew it as a giant dollar sign. And I look up. That's Dion. Dion Sanders. <laughs> And he's, he says to me, he's like, I'm like, he sees the look on my face. He's like, I'm going to be money someday, kid. 
I still have that ball. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he was money. I'm, I'm selling it to Eli Manning. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.